Good morning and welcome to the Idea Ladies. My name is Carrie and we have a special guest with us today. <laughs> I'm Candace. Uh, we are here in Langley, alive here on Facebook, and Neve is with us behind the camera today. Hello. Hello. So if you're there, please say hello. Janine is resting today in bed. Hello, Janine, if you're there, you better be watching. We miss you. <laughs> so get you. better and come back. Um, I'm so excited that you're here with us today because we are going to introduce to you two, not one, but two new Annie Sloan products. So some of you may have already heard about it because it's been released in the United States and the UK already. So if you're a big Annie Sloan fan, you probably already know about her new satin paint and her new decoupage papers. So um, I've invited Candace here today because she's like the decoupage queen around here. Well, you as know. As you know, <laughs> if you've taken any of her workshops. Um, so we're gonna kind of introduce you to, in the next 20 minutes, introduce you to these two new products. Yeah. And then in later segments, we will get into more depth about each one as we're learning about them because- They're brand they, new. They're brand new. They just yeah. arrived on Friday, yeah. right? And so last week, and we're just seeing them for the first time as well. And um, just to take a second, 10 years ago, I guess, when Annie Sloan chalk paint wasn't even in Canada yet, mm. I saw it in the States and um, I brought a can home and I thought, ooh, I'm gonna try this. And there was a lady at the time just bringing it into Canada and she sent me a message on Facebook and said, you know, do you wanna be the first stockist in BC? And I said, you know what, let <laughs> me try it because you cannot sell anything you, you don't, don't believe, believe in. in. Right? Oh. 100%. 100%. 100%. So I believe in all of Annie's products, but yeah. I personally wanted to try everything so I can tell you firsthand what I think of it. Yeah. And um, I knew right away when I put my brush into the chalk paint that this Beautiful. was amazing. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're so excited to share it with you. And now we're going to introduce you to two new products and I'm probably, they're probably just as amazing. Yeah. Different, so, different purpose. But yeah, yeah, exactly. Totally. Does that sound good? You guys excited? Absolutely. Excellent. So I'm going to let you start and maybe show um, our viewers today some of the new decoupage papers that we have in stock. Yeah, for sure. So <laughs> we'll start with that one last. <laughs> <laughs> so um, these were all designed um, in collaboration with the Royal Horticultural Society. So they're beautiful. Look at this one here. Blue and white classic. Gorgeous. This, this is called Starburst. Starburst. Flurry. Flurry. Yeah. Dutch tulips. You guys, this is amazing. They're huge. Look oh. at how big. So each one of these packets come with two um, pages inside. I'm going to show you that in a moment. Um, this one here, botanical drawings, mint, so beautiful, winged wildlife, and floral garden. So currently, we're sold out already of this. It just came in and we're sold out. But we will be getting them soon. And we're gonna use that one today. And so Carrie's gonna- Well, I just go. want, for so the people who don't even know what a decoupage oh, paper is, go. let's just keep it simple. And in this package, you're gonna get two sheets of this size. Two identical sheets. Yeah. Um, so it's a tissue paper. Um, it's a nice, nice weighted tissue paper. Some yeah. of them are thinner than others. This is lovely. It does have a bit of a sheen on the top. These can be cut with scissors to um, fit a piece. You could also cut them to have a more organic soft edge using a little bit of water and you can just kind of wet on here and then take your fingers and just tear it and you get that beautiful little organic edge on there. Okay, so that's how these work. And then basically you're going to glue them with a decoupage medium. Remember and decoupage back in back the day? In the it's day. kind of like what goes around comes around. Totally. Right? Yeah. So we're just gonna set this one aside. Like high-waisted jeans and flares. Oh, Sorry. Well, that's <laughs> not for everybody. But you know, everything comes back around, right? So I'm just gonna show you, we're gonna use the Annie Sloan image medium. I've done a pre one on, I wanted to show you. So again, I've, I've cut this out with some water. So it's got a more organic edge. This is on white as a background. Can you see it okay? You need, does she need to adjust no. it or you're okay? I All wanna right. show you this one here. Oops, let's go. Hmm. This one here over the black background, this color was as bright as this. 
So if you want it dulled down a little bit, you can do it over a dark color. But if you want it to be nice and bright and those colors to pop, you want to do it over a light background. Mm -hmm. So that's so sort you of can something. use any color chalk paint yeah, underneath, absolutely. right? Absolutely. And will the decoupage paper stick to anything? Like, will it stick to glass? Absolutely. Or glass, yeah. metal, wood. Okay. Um, so with this one here, you could do it right over raw wood because you're starting with your image medium. I see. So on this one here, we'll just quickly do one. So I've given it a, a coat of white. Sorry. Just, I'm trying to help. But. <laughs> just to keep my, my color beautiful and light. And then I'm just going to dip into my image medium and I want to get it on here. I'm going to start in one section. So I'm not covering the whole piece at one time. So this is just a really quick overview, but we're going so to get more into it later. So you could use the decoupage paper sheets as one, like to cover the whole front of a dresser, or you could break them out totally. and just use pieces of them. Um, so this is kind go. of a good example of le if you were doing a full drawer front or something. Exactly, right? and I haven't okay. cut this to, to, to fit perfectly. I'm going to come back later and sand that off. So I just want to figure out where this is going to go. Where's my edge? Gosh, that's so beautiful. It is. It's got a beautiful sheen on here. I do have a little bit of wiggle room if I needed to wiggle it, but once it gets wet, it does begin to stretch the paper. So you want to move it as least as possible. And I'm just using a plastic bag to really smooth that into the glue. And then I will continue on. So super, super simple. When this is um, fully coated, then I'm going to give it, Annie suggests that we give it 30 minutes to dry. So for her product, she's suggesting give it a 30 minute dry time and then come back and go over it again with the image medium. What I found interesting also is that we read that you could, after the image medium is dried, you could put the Annie Sloan wax on it if you wanted to distress it, like make it look a little aged around the edges or that sort of thing, right? Yeah, so you can wax, you can lacquer afterwards, and so you can still create that, um, that beautiful aged patina, right? But you wouldn't have to, would you? You like don't have the, to. The, this is like a good finishing. Totally, it's, yeah. it's going to seal it completely. Um, what I would like to say, and I'm going to show you on this, is if you are cutting it out and putting it on something, you can see the sheen from where I put the decoupage medium and where I did not. So if this was going to be maybe a welcome sign and I stencil the word welcome on here, I would cover the whole piece in the image medium so that it's all the same sheen. Mm -hmm. I could still go back over it and paint on top and then wax and all of that. But if you're cutting out, you do want to make sure that, that you cover the whole thing so that you're not going to see that sheen difference. Right. Unless you yeah. like that, right? Um, yeah. 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 So basically, that's well, it. What's funny, Neve? <laughs> the, the sheen difference. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's see. So beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. When it's, I'm going to come front, back, right? and I'm going to go over it with the image medium, and then I'm going to just sand straight yeah. down all these edges and it's going to fit perfectly. Yeah, so fabulous on Thanks. a drawer front. Beautiful. Yeah, so easy. Um, we, I believe that our friend Natalie has um, working on a project right now, a huge bookcase where she's using this in the back. So we're going to be sure to share that with you soon. She's almost finished. Yeah. So it's the, looking the other thing I wanted to point out is in Annie's latest colorist magazine, these bookazines, they um, always are talking about a particular color. This is the one we just got in on Friday. On the uh, second to last page, oh, I marked it with my little napkin. There is a whole how-to decoupage. This lady here has used the tulips. Actually, she's used three different decoupage mm -hmm. paper. The tulip, this one here, I'm sorry, Annie, I don't remember what they're all called yet, and the butterfly one to create this beautiful screen. So, um, and they're step-by-step. -step. She always does a great job. There's projects in the back of each one of these, and of course, always a free stencil as well, if you didn't know that. So. We have a limited amount of these, but they are online. Also, with the decoupage papers, Annie released a few of them, but we don't have them all right. in stock. The ones yeah. that are in stock are on our website at thepassionatehome.com. Any questions on decoupage? Not so far. Okay. Satin I always paint. feel we have so much to cover, and we only have 20 minutes today. Satin paint. This is a new paint that Annie has introduced. 
These are the beautiful colors that we have currently in stock. So if you are an Annie Sloan follower, you know that there are 18, uh, 14, 14, 14 right. colors. We do not have them all here yet. These were some of my favorites. And so we've brought them in to test them and to see how you like them. So um, I thought today, so this is the um, Pemberley, Pemberley Blue. And Annie has made all her satin paint colors and wall paint, which we haven't talked about yet, <laughs> to kind of harmoniously go with the chalk paint line. Yeah. So the satin paint is recommended for doors, baseboards, and you can use it on furniture. The difference is there is, um, you must sand your product first if mm -hmm. it has high sheen, but there's no top coat. So there's no waxing and no yeah. lacquering. She's calling it a one step. I'm like, it's a one and a half, because you do have to prep a bit. You do. Whereas yeah. with chalk paint, we're always like, no sanding, no priming. Well, with this, you do need to Definitely. sand, unless it's on raw wood. Uh, so this is Pemberley Blue, which is going, uh, it matches her duck egg, which is one of our most popular colors. Yeah. And this would be lovely on an interior door, so right? Pretty. Like a bedroom yeah. door or something. So yeah. we have done a couple of samples with the blue here. Now, the pigment is beautiful. It is. This yeah. is just a, um, like a baseboard sample, and I'm going to show you this. Uh, is there shadows, or are you okay? No, that's okay. Okay. This one here has one coat. Looks pretty good, yeah. except I missed like right here. So I did this one with two. This feels satiny, not chalky like the other one, and it, it's yeah, it's really that beautiful. That whole self-leveling. And it's self-leveling. Yeah. Can you hear, Neve? Can you? make it so that people can see how beautiful it is. Yeah, and it's not uber glossy. I love that it's that satin it finish. It is a satin finish. Right? It's yeah. so pretty. Yeah. So we also tried it last night on a very high sheen laminate cabinet. She said, you must sand this. You, if you've previously painted something with chalk paint and waxed, you must sand the wax. Yeah, you must off. sand the lacquer. Anything chippy, you must sand. But then, once it's painted, it's there's no um, top coat. Yeah, right. And we're sanding this. We're not sanding it all the way back to the original. We're sanding it to get if there's wax on it or lacquer to get that off. Right. And something super shiny like this, you're just sanding. You need to get some tooth, so it needs to connect to something. Yeah. So the satin paint needs to be stirred or shaken. So um, that was the thing that, um, whereas the chalk paint doesn't, you don't need to shake it, but you no, should stir it stirred. for sure, yeah. right? So I am going to open this for you and show you what is inside. Now we opened it on Friday. Um, whoa. Look how gorgeous. This is the Pemberley Blue. It's yeah. so lovely. So at first I opened it and I'm like, ooh, pretty. It was a little separated, so we did have to stir it. So let's stir it and just... Are there friends with us today, Neve? Lots of friends with us today. Oh, yes. good. Yeah. I'm so excited, you guys, to show you these new products. And I'm excited to try them because... I, um, yeah. I remember when I first tried chalk paint, I'm like, oh, this is amazing. Um, and I'm sure Annie has not let us down with this one. So definitely thinner. A beautiful consistency. Thin, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, beautiful. What we noticed when we put our first brush, it was like like velvet, would yeah, you say? Just like you like have it to glides. experience. It yeah. glided through <laughs> and it's self-leveling. So when people come in and they say to the chalk paint, they're doing something and they want a really smooth finish. We always give them tips on how to get a smooth finish. Well, this is yeah. going to give you a smooth finish. So yesterday, you used this on raw wood, right? So I got to, I got to try it. So this was just a raw piece of wood and I just did one coat on there, but it just went on so beautifully. If you're in the neighborhood, come and touch it. Come and see yeah. it. So yeah. that's one coat. And actually, you know what? I remember that there was some drip in here and I was like, oh, I wonder how, but it's actually flat. That little drip I guess is that's flattened. that self-leveling property. Yeah. So, so we're learning about this as, um, uh, I think it's next week we do some training. Um, I've watched a few videos from Annie training um, the 
um, some other stockists, so I'm super excited about it. But in the meantime, we are getting right into it. The other thing I want to mention is that her satin paint and wall paints are the same colors. So this is actually the whole spectrum, um, but we do not have all these colors in stock currently. Yeah. Just the ones that Neve has kind of highlighted for you, and they are all online. So, Pauline asks, yes. what's the drying time? Oh, good uh, question. It was an hour to yeah. recoat, right? An hour to touch sort of thing. So, yeah. yeah. There's some great information right on the can, actually. Yeah. So, quick drying, one hour. Wash with uh, water, same. Water-based, satin finish. Uh, I don't have my glasses. But it is yes. water cleanup. Yeah, but you you have to know that once it sits there for a while and starts to dry, it's yeah. hard to come off. Yeah, like it's it not like chalk paint. <laughs> it doesn't just, just wash come off back later. And get it. No, because yeah. of that, it's got that sealing. Um, mm -hmm. The other thing about this, yeah, um, whereas the chalk paint we can mix colors. Yeah, with this you can't do that. You can't. Well, yeah, they said no, but I, I think we should try. Like she said, this is a brand new product, so we're mm. all trying different things. Uh, it is not for outside. It is for Indoor. inside, mm -hmm. okay? So again, if you want to paint the outside of your front door, you're still using chalk paint and sealing it with the lacquer. If yeah. you want to paint the inside of the door, you could use um, the satin paint yeah. on metal and wood. Very so good. I'm just gonna dip in here and just show you guys kind of how, I don't know, I wish it was like smell-o-vision so you could actually <laughs> see how this glides. Are you ready? You're gonna get close, Neve. Give these people a show here. Like, so just beautiful. look at that. It's just like, oh my God. Like, I don't even know. It feels like satin. Mm -hmm. It feels beautiful. It feels so this luxurious. Will be the second, yes. That's yeah. the word. So, there we have it. I mean, I put it on maybe too thick. I mean, it's really That's, quite, it's yeah. got great coverage, hey? Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's too thick. So, I'm going to really extend and, and uh, use it. Um, if you are in the area as well, we do have this can open. If you want to come and just feel it, uh, we did sell our first can, I think the day it came in. I and so. I don't know who the lady is who bought it, but I'd love to hear how it's going. Oh my she God. was so excited. She, she was so excited. Like, yeah. Did you care? Are did you, you get it? it? So look yeah. at how far that's going actually. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, Annie, I think you may have done it again. <laughs> So I would love to do my kitchen cupboards. I know I just did them, but I want to do them again, just so I could see the difference, mm. right? But they would have to be sanded. Sanded, so, yeah. yeah. So can you see, that's a beautiful coverage. So it's one to two coat coverage, um, and then it's self-leveling. So it's, yeah. I think the second coat is just going to, like the baseboard, the second yeah, coat just, just filled fill in, in beautifully. Yeah. So that is, are there any questions at the moment? Um, How are we doing for time, Candice? I just, uh, yeah. oh, good. Awesome. Perfect. No questions, no. I don't think. Because we're just Excellent. doing such a great job. Um, okay, so satin paint. Let me just make sure. Uh, satin paint, doors, baseboards, furniture. You must sand first. Um, stir really well, self leveling, which yeah. was li which is amazing. Like, oh, um, it flows beautifully. Yes. That's what it was. It was yeah. flowing like satin. It's just something you have to experience. It's like coming to the store. People say, you know, tell me about your store. I'm like, it's an experience. You need to come. <laughs> totally. yeah. So if you're watching this for the first come time, you need to come. <laughs> um, here's a little plug. <laughs> come to downtown Langley. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That's it, that's all I really had written down. As, yes, yeah, sorry. Does it do the same square footage ah, as the, the chalk 118. Paint? 118. So the cans are a little bit smaller and it okay. says 118. Um, I'm gonna get a can square. of chalk paint. I wanna show you the difference between the cans. Yeah. Hang on, let me just unhook myself. Do -do -do. That's what she usually says at these moments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually on the other end. <laughs> that's funny. Here we go. So yeah, slightly okay, smaller. So here's your chalk paint can, and here is your satin paint can. This covers approximately 140 square feet, but remember you can add water to, totally. and to make it a wash. Super creative paint. This one is the, how many square 118 feet? square feet. 118, 140, so, so still really less, great. But still. Yeah, well, yeah. but the can's a little bit smaller, right? This is true. 750 yeah. mil and one liter. Yeah but different products that work beautifully together. Yeah. 
So you may want to be doing your furniture and the chalk paint to create an old world patina mm. and then do the door in behind or your baseboards. Your baseboards um, window trim. Yeah. Window Beautiful. trim. Yes. Yeah. Um, in the satin. Beautiful. Pretty fun. Yeah. What else? Um, Very low VOC. Yeah, again, the same, we're not smelling anything, so amazing. Well, let me smell because. Well, right in there, right maybe in. there's a little bit, but there's yeah. no, you know, when you walk into the house and go, oh, is somebody painting? Yeah, yeah no, 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 yeah, not happening. So we would love to show you these colors. Um, we are going to, um, we'll be here all day. <laughs> we will. We are open Tuesday to Saturday from 10 to 5. Yeah. We have limited colors here. We will extend the range if there's something, if you're online and there's a color that you would like that you don't see, please let us know as we're trying to see what's going to be most popular. Yeah. And um, if you're in the area, come and dip the brush and just feel and experience the paint. There's nothing like that. No, so, totally. Yeah, um, check those out. Check so on the out. decoupage paper, you are now going to cover it yeah. with the... Um, I can do it right now even. Yeah. But just as we're going out. It's just, we're just recovering the whole thing with our image medium. Yeah. Yeah. So beautiful, beautiful papers. Um, yeah. And each one, they've got great how-tos right there on the back and tips from Annie on how to do them. Um, and a little uh, story about each one as they, uh, where the images came from and what was inspired. So cool. Yeah. And this will dry clear. What was this one, like a 16? Can you pass me the package? I just yeah. wanna, cause when I read it, I'm like, oh, this particular paper is inspired by an artist from the 1620s. Wow. Um, the most popular flowers of the day. There you go. So there you go. And there you go. And there you have it, folks. <laughs> that, <laughs> you remember the I movie like from I'm, my Greek wedding or whatever? That's what and it was. There, there you, you go. go. <laughs> you just need a little Windex with everything. <laughs> uh, next week, we are back. We are here every Friday at 930 to help you create a beautiful life and hopefully to inspire you to try something new. Um, Janine, hopefully, will be back. Yes. And we may get into more depth and actually paint a piece of furniture give you some more feedback on the satin paint of what we've learned over the week. Um, and of course, if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see us cover, please put them in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And yeah. anything else? I think that's it. It's a beautiful day. So oh, it's Mother's Day. Down here. Oh, it's, it's Mother's, Mother's day. day. It's Mother's that's Day. That's right. On Sunday. Oh, so today is Friday, Saturday. You have two days to come in. Get your mom something amazing. We have some great little gifts. We yeah, do, and Krista was doing gifts. a video the other day and asking each of us, what is your favorite gift to give uh, your mother? And she asked me to do a video and I got so busy, I didn't. So I want to tell you what is my pick for Mother's <laughs> Day, and that is a gift certificate to your for your mother yeah. to come and either buy something special for herself or a workshop. Totally. For the two of you to do something and spend quality time together. The okay. gift certificates are so versatile, can yeah. be any denomination and used for anything. So if I don't see you, Mom, no, I will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, happy Mother's Day to all the moms and mom figures out there. We love you. Thank you so much. Have a great day and stay safe. Bye, guys. Bye. She pans out. <laughs> <laughs>